Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Cooking Horizon by Test. Today I'm going to show you how to make crispy baked chicken drumsticks. These mouth-watering chicken drumsticks taste very much like fried chicken drumsticks without you having to spend the time and effort to fry them. You simply put them in the oven and they bake into buttery crisp on the outside and tender and juicy chicken in the inside. The preparation time is minimum here and you'd also have to marinate the chicken from ahead of time. Yet it comes out very tender. So let's prep our chicken. I've taken about two pounds of chicken drumsticks, skin on. The skin part is very important because this skin is responsible for the crispiness of the chicken anytime you bake or fry them. Also, the fat layer between the skin and the flesh makes it more appealing to the taste buds once it's cooked, fried, or baked. These drumsticks are nice and big, so four of them made up to two pounds. I've washed and pet dried the chicken. Here is the list of all my seasonings, and I'll tell you the amounts later in the video. This is black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, salt, and cayenne pepper or red chili powder. First of all, I'm going to add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour in a bowl. Based on the size and shape of chicken drumsticks, I personally find it more convenient to coat the chicken pieces in a flat bowl. So which is why I'm using this flat bowl to mix all my ingredients. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of cayenne pepper or red chili powder. 1 tablespoon of black pepper, 1 tablespoon of garlic powder, 1 tablespoon of onion powder, 1 teaspoon of paprika, and 1 tablespoon of salt. Now I'm going to give it all a very good mix. If you like it to be more spicy and hot, you could add more cayenne pepper or black pepper at this point. Here is a tip. You could pre-mix these ingredients and preserve them in a sealed airtight container for a long time, even months. In a separate bowl, I'll crack an egg, give it a good whisk and set it aside. Meanwhile, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 218 degrees Celsius. In a baking dish or a foil tray, take about half cup or eight tablespoons of butter or margarine. I'm using margarine here. So the oven is heated up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'll put the margarine in the oven. While the margarine melts down, I'm going to coat our chicken. For personal safety, please use oven mains when you're putting anything in the oven or taking anything out of the oven. It'll take about seven to eight minutes for the butter or margarine to melt. I'll put each chicken drumstick in the egg first and make sure the entire piece gets a good egg wash. Then I'll coat the piece of drumstick with the flour mixture. I'll make sure that every single inch of the chicken drumstick is well covered with the flour mix. Hold, press and take your time. Repeat the same for the rest of the pieces of chicken drumsticks. Just in case you don't have access to an oven or you prefer frying instead of baking, you could also fry these pieces of chicken drumsticks, but in that case, it's better to double coat the chicken pieces instead of single coating. Here we are doing single coating. So for double coating, after the first coat of flour, you dip it in the egg again, followed by the flour coating. Then you deep fry them in medium heat until it's done. Along with chicken drumsticks, you could also use skin on chicken thighs for the same purpose. It's important to remember that the baking time might vary a little depending on the oven you're using. Some ovens are more powerful than the others. Or the opposite. The drumsticks are ready to go right into the oven. Now I'll place the pieces of chicken drumsticks into the melted margarine. 
I'll bake them at 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 218 degrees Celsius for about an hour and meanwhile I'm gonna flip them over after 30 minutes into the baking. If you're baking a lot of chicken pieces together then make sure every time you place the chicken onto the baking dish or flipping them over take the tray or the baking dish out of the oven and close the oven door in order to reduce the heat loss from inside the oven. And also for personal safety. The way I'm doing is not safe at all. So in fact, every time, regardless of the number of pieces of chicken, just take the dish out, do what you have to do and put it back in. I chose to do it this way just for the convenience of shooting the video. So here goes our drumsticks into the oven for another 30 minutes. So after about an hour altogether, we're going to take the chicken out. They seem cooked and crispy and nice. They smell so good. I wish there was a way that my viewers could smell this through this video. If you like this recipe, if you like my videos, please, please do subscribe to my channel, like and comment on my videos. Also, please let your friends and family know about my channel and help me grow. Every subscriber, every view, and every comment counts. I cannot survive without your support. If you have any suggestions for me, please leave a comment or you could also email me. If you try this recipe at home, please let me know how it came out. I'd really appreciate the feedback. So I'm done plating here. So anytime you take the chicken out of the oven, please let it stand for like five minutes before you start eating them to prevent burning your tongue because the inside is going to be very hot. Look how juicy and tender it is in the inside. Thank you very much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe. Take care.